Saren Kierkegaard, Various Readings. The Expository Times, Volume the 13th, Editors, James Hastings, Ann Wilson Hastings, Edward Hastings. September 1903, page 404. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. A Great Danish Thinker by H. R. Mackintosh Kierkegaard has come to his kingdom slowly. For many years after his death, his name was almost unknown beyond the Danish frontier, and even yet one or two magazine articles represent all the influence he exerts in this country. Yet he is not a man to be neglected without loss. One who has been variously designated the Christian Socrates and the Tycho Brahe of modern ethics has surely some deep truth to impart to the world. He did not write for the general public. His methods are altogether different from those of the professed theologian. He wrote because he must. And from the first he found discerning readers, whose number at present bids fair to increase. These two essays were written as far back as 1847, and have at last been admirably translated into German by a loving disciple. They utterly defy analysis or criticism of the conventional kind. The first, entitled, Ought a Man to Let Himself Be Killed for the Truth's Sake?, deals with the absolute voluntary character of Christ's atoning passion. The second treats of the difference between a genius and an apostle and contains many memorable sayings upon the authority of the New Testament scriptures. Suffice it to testify that very seldom indeed do we remember to have read papers of a like originality, ingenuity, subtlety, and elemental and passionate power. Their spirit is profoundly Christian. Like the work of all really great minds, they leave irritating trifles on one side, and go straight to the center of things. Had Kierkegaard written in German, or, which is more difficult to imagine, French, his name would long ago have been a household word. Will someone not translate a selection of his shorter pieces into English? The task would be a comparatively light one, for his style has all the simplicity of nature, and his are thoughts which appeal to the universal heart. H. R. Mackintosh, Aberdeen. End of recording. A Great Danish Thinker by H. R. Mackintosh. Page 404.